This is the level two practice paper from Edexcel. As you know, the exam is made of two papers or as they call the sections. So this is section A or paper one. You can't use a calculator in this paper or this section. You can, however, use a pen, pencil, eraser, ruler, protected pair of compasses and tracing paper. These are the instructions. So we'll read each question carefully and try and answer those together. So we'll move on to the first question. Which says, Bill is a builder. On Monday, he made mortar mix. He used 24 kilograms of sand and 5 kilograms of cement. Now, this is a key piece of information, so we need to stop here and underline it. 24 kilograms of sand and 5 kilograms of cement. S for sand and C for cement. So it's a ratio question, as we can see. Now, on Tuesday, Bill will make the same type of mortar mix. So we're going to use the same ratio to make more mortar mix. He will use 36 kilograms of sand. So we'll go under sand and put 36. So as we've said before, in a ratio question, you need to use proportion. So this amount will grow in proportion and this amount will grow in proportion. So whatever you multiply 24 by to get 36, you're going to use that same number to multiply 5 by to get this number here, which is the amount of cement, which is what we're looking for. So what do we multiply 24 by to get 36? So looking at the number, we've got 24. If I add 12 to it, it's going to give me 36. But 12 is half of 24. So 24 times 1.5, because 0.5 means half. So one lot of 24 is 24. Add 12 to it, which is half of that. That means one lot and a half, which is 1.5, to give us 36. So now we'll do the same with a 5. So what's half of 5 is 2.5. 5 and 2.5 gives us 7.5. So we multiplied in this case 5 by 1.5, 1 1.5. 1 so that's the answer. You could have done this in other ways as well. And you could have divided 36 by 24, get the number, and then multiply that by 5. There are many different methods. This is, I think, the easiest given that you can't use a calculator. And we've got so much space in here, but don't forget to write here 7.5 kilograms because the unit is given to you, so you don't need to write kg. So you get three marks for that. In this second question, we've got to write 2.71828 correct to three decimal places. So what does that mean? We've got the first decimal place here. This is the second and this is the third. So we've got to round this number up to this point. So we'd have only three digits after the decimal point. We need to get rid of the 2 and the 8 after. But in order to do that, we can't just truncate it. We need to look at what's right after this line. So we've got a 2 there, which means we're going to round down. So if it's a 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, we round down. So we keep this as 8. If it was a 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, then we'd round it to 9. So this is 2.5. Seven one eight. Now we'll have a look at the next question. Here is the formula P equals 
3t squared. Work out the value of p when t is equal to 10. So I will rewrite this with the value given. We need to work out p, which is equal to 3 lots of, and t is equal to 10. So I could just do times 10, and that's squared, as we know from the formula. So if there is no operation in between a number and a letter, it means multiplication. So we've got P is equal to three lots of 10 squared is 100. So we need to do the squaring first. So squaring means 10 times 10 multiplying the number by itself. Three lots of 100 makes 300. So we'll write this answer now in the box provided. You can see there are three marks for this question as well. Looking at question number three. Lizzie buys three clocks for a total cost of £50 at a car boot sale. She sells two of the clocks for £22 each and the other clock for £20. Lizzie thinks she has made a profit of over 30% of the cost of the clocks. Is Lizzie correct? Show why you think of this. So we know she bought them all for £50 and then she sold them all for 22 and 22 and 20 which is 64 pounds now we've got to compare the 64 with the 50 so what was the profit 64 take away 50 it was 40 pounds 14 pounds profit so what is that out of the initial amounts she spent. So it's 14 out of 50, which is same as saying 14 divided by 50. Now you could try and divide 14 by 50 because that's what the line tells us, this division line or fraction line. But I think the easiest way, since we're talking about percentages, is to scale this up. So I would multiply 50 by 2 to give us 100. And multiply the 14 by 2 to give us 28. So 28 out of 100 is the same as saying 28%. Now compare it to the 30. Has she made a profit of over 30%? That is not right because it's only 28%. So we've got to say no, it's only 28%. Question number four, Usha is a local councillor. She wants to write about the new housing development. The diagram shows the space for the new development, which is what you can see. Usher thinks that the area of development will be greater than the total area of 50 football pitches. Usher knows that um, a football pitch is rectangular, 100 meters by 50 meters, and one mile is equal to 1,600 meters. So we go this area here and we've got to compare it to 50 football pitches. Since we know that uh, we're given the um, size of a football pitch in metres, I think we'd let's just stick to metres, convert um, the miles to metres as well and work with those. So since this is rectangular 100 by 50, we multiply them together. So 
So that's the area of one football pitch. And we know this, so now we're going to look at the converting the miles. We have half a mile. One mile is 1,600, so half a mile will be 800. And same thing over here. So if we multiply 800 by 800, we'd be looking at this whole area. Then we'll divide it by two because this is the area of a triangle. So we'll go 800 times 800 divided by 2. And that is 320,000. So we're comparing this now to 50 lots of the 5,000. So we'll multiply this by 50. 5 times 5 is 25. Add the rest of the zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So now we're comparing 320,000 with 250,000. Is she right? So this was for this. She said that the area of the development will be greater than the total area of 50 football pitches. And that is right because this is greater than this. So we can say that as our answer. Yes, she is right. Next part of the question is asking to use reverse calculations to show a check of your answer. So you'll have to refer to what we just did. So we have for this part 250,000. So we'll divide it by 50 and it's going to give us 5,000. And then we'll go to 320,000 times by 2 and it should give us what this is equal to. And I've shown those calculations here. Now all of the questions in section A or paper 1. We'll look at section B or paper two as well.